in this video i'm gonna show you one little tip that will make your weight painting process much much easier i'm luciano and welcome to the adventures of lollipop man what's up everyone i'm luciano and welcome to the adventures of lollipop man in today's video i'm gonna show you a very little trick that will improve drastically how you paint weights in blender so remember to like and subscribe and let's get on it this episode is sponsored by me Use the code below to get 10% discount on any of my products. So here I have this character that you all see me creating in the Secrets of Rigify course. And I want to just jump into the part of weight painting, right? So if you are using Rigify, you're going to realize that all of the bones that you have visible, none of them are weighted. But in this little layer here is where they hide the death bones, which are the only ones in the entire rig that deform. And so you have a clear indication of what is the formation and what is a motion. But this tip applies to any rig. It's, it's directly improving the weight painting itself in itself instead of the rig. So normally you'll just select one bone and then jump into weight painting. And as you can see here, what we have is a gradient of color that goes from value zero to a hundred. So red would be a hundred and blue would be zero. The problem with this is that as you go to values like 90 plus or from 10 to zero and from 90 to 100 your eye can hardly differentiate between the super red and the really like red red so it makes it super hard to really know when something is at a hundred percent or at zero percent so my trick is this let's go to preferences editing and then weight paint and we're going to use custom colors but this one doesn't help much and for some reason it looks orangish instead of black and white. No idea why is that. So the trick is here. I'm going to change this color, the base color to blue. And so I'm going to go to this one. And again, I'm going to make it red. So we get blue for blue for very low, close to zero, and then red for the close to one values. So I'm going to create a new one. And that one in the middle is going to be green, basically telling you that this is in the mid ranges, yellow is in the mid top ranges, cyan is in the mid low ranges, and then blue is in the low low ranges. And so where's the tip? What I do is I just add two more. This one, I'll bring it to the top and then I'll make it completely white, completely white. And then the hue doesn't matter right here. And then this one, the red one, I'm just going to punch in the number and point point. 999 so that gets it to everything that's close to one that's not one it's red and then only the ones that are white are the ones that actually have like 0.999 and over so one and as you can see here we can clearly see that it's working already for some reason that disappeared there you go so before we thought that all of this area right here was at one and it wasn't right. And so we'll do the same with the lower values, add a new one, move it all the way down. Whoopsie. I cannot undo this. So I'll just select this one and then just move it with the slider, which is convenient. And then I'm going to make sure that this red stays 0.999. Oopsie. Right. And then this one, it's going to be another color and I'm going to make it a very obvious color like so, something like that. And you're going to see very quickly, this one is going to be 0.001, which is kind of like the opposite. And so as you can see now, we thought that this was completely white, but it wasn't Oh, white, completely one. And we can go into the values and you can see here, the forearm is 0.981. So it's not even close, right? So. With this, now you can actually make sure that when you select the bone, you'll get to understand exactly how they're painted. This will help you visualize your weights much better. So let me know in the comments below what you think, how much it improved your workflow, and remember to like and subscribe and see me next time. Mm -hmm.